Let's Go Outdoors. Supported by the Alberta Conservation Association. Does it look like spaghetti? Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's a big day in the Sturgis home. Husband Dan and their two boys, Scott and Jimmy, are about to make some deer sausage. I figured since it was our first time with summer sausage, we'd follow the instructions. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> also on the menu, mouth-watering moose roast. Jimmy, get ready to crank. While eating wild game is the end result of a successful hunt, for mom, Sheila, there are other benefits. You know, to be totally honest, I think it's spending time outdoors with, uh, with family that probably carries a bit more weight, but the, the definite outcome of, of all of that is being able to put some good food on the table. So what do you think? Good. It's good? For some families, getting kids to try new things can be a struggle. No issue here as the boys devour wild game. And they're kind of counting down how many years it is they can go out and, and hunt. But they, they really enjoy it. And the one thing that's really rewarding is that they really understand where their food comes from. So when we bring a, a deer home, they're, they're helping us, um, you know, skin it and butcher it. And then they're helping us grind it and helping us make it into sausage or, um, you know, sharing that uh, moose roast or whatever we might have. It is becoming more commonplace to see women out in the field hunting. Sheila has some advice for novice hunters. I think part of it is, is for women who are interested in getting into it is finding those mentors who can take you, know, take you out and, and show you the ropes. Just get out and, and try it. The rewards, well, speak for themselves. <laughs>